Hi, my name is Oliver and welcome to the um, second part of our um, tutorial about the TIG PI container for the Mika. And in this section, we will have a closer look at Chronograph, um, which is our dashboard creator, um, management tool, as well as alert creator. And we can do a lot of things with it. So let's dive right into it and open it up. Okay, once Chronograph starts, um, you would see this landing page over here. And um, Chronograph is basically organized in a way that you have this um, menu on the left side where you can switch between different aspects of Chronograph and the um, tick ecosystem. And um, you have a top line which always shows you the um, current section you're in. And then you have the main window, which um, basically is constructed out of these cells. And for the landing page, um, you always see the um, recent alerts, events that have been occurred within the last 30 days. And uh, the same thing over here in a listed structure. And um, then you also have a news feed of the influx data, so you can read information about them. And then there's this um, getting started cell, which uh, directly links to the documentation of uh, the tick stack. I really recommend you to read the documentation provided by the uh, influx data website. Um, there is a lot of in-depth documentation about every um, service of the tick stack with um, a lot of explanations and little tutorials. Okay, so let's go back to the to our chronograph. Um, let's have a closer look at the menu. The first section is host list. And um, the host list contains basically all the hosts that are um, organized by this chronograph instance. And um, in our case, we only have this um, container, but you know, in general, you could have more than one host um, in this list. And if you click on the host, you will get some uh, CPU usage, system load, memory usage, and so on. So you can basically monitor all your hosts. And um, that is shown in a graphical way. So it's easier to see uh, yeah, what happened in the last time. Um, okay, the next section is the Data Explorer. The Data Explorer um, gives us access to um, the Influx database and it allows us to query um, the database. So you could either you know, use this section over here um, and type in your, your query, but you can also um, just simply click um, through these uh, three sections over here. Um, and uh, they are sorted in a way that you have the database to the very left. So for example, the Telegraph database. And um, if you then click on a measurement or a tag, you can select something like CPU and then click on a field. Um, what then happens is you, it constructs, Chronograph basically constructs for you the um, query which is sent to the, um, to the Influx database. And um, you can see the query over here, as well as the visual representation um, over here. And uh, from here, you could directly export um, the, uh, all the data uh, into a 
CSV um, file or just look at it. Now, um, what you see here is that um, this uh, view basically updates. And why is that? That is because we have on the top screen the option to either write to the database and um, or to set um, you know the cycle in which um, the query is repeatedly sent to the influx database. So for um, on, on default we have it to 50 seconds but we can also change the interval over here and we can also um, use uh, different um, a different scale for the visualization so we could say like um, let's um, have it for the last five minutes or you know something else or having like um, a longer period for up to uh, a year basically okay let's leave it as uh, on the past hour um, what we also can do over here is basically we can um, group the results and um, so we can say like um, let's group them for an hour so that will um, basically take all the data points within the hour and transform them depending on a function that is selected over here so we can it's currently set to the mean value but we can also set it to a medium uh, median or to a sum or to the first or last one and um, yeah but um, let's go back to 10 seconds and leave it like that okay so the next section um, is the dashboard creation. Um, we will cover that in a separate tutorial, so therefore I will skip it here. Um, the same thing with the alerts. Here we can define alerts. And um, also that is also covered in a separate tutorial. Then we have the admin settings. And the admin settings basically allow us to um, set a retention policy for each database so um, that is how long the data is actually stored the table basically um, or the data gets dropped uh, after seven days so it won't uh, remain longer but of course we could modify this and um, or add a different um, policy for that and you know set it to a lower value or to um, you know more than seven days or to infinity the next thing we can do from here is to go and to define users with uh, certain permissions on the um, database and on chronograph then we can go to queries and um, this basically shows us that um, currently there are queries um, running on each of the database and we can see like how long the query took um, yeah the last section is the configuration and in this section we can um, basically set the um, the database which on default is set to um, the local host um, influx database but you could also theoretically you know add a different source so adding a different influx database that is on a different Mika or um, on some other system now with every influx database you can also set or specify um, an instance of capacitor and again, this is also set to the um, local host capacitor, so basically to the capacitor that runs within the same container. Therefore, you can also set user and passwords and so on. Okay, so um, that's it for this section. Um, in the next section, we will have a closer look at the, uh, creating dashboards and uh, yeah, see you in the next tutorial. Bye.